Okay. All right, so today we are going to be continuing our discussion and learning how to conduct and analyze an experiment. We're to the analyze part today. Um, so that we can learn how to develop our own experimentation and also correctly analyze data. And um, our success today is going to be uh, a little different than that. I haven't updated it. But we're going to hopefully be able to analyze that null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis by the time we get done. Um, a couple things that I want to go over today as we get started. Um, your UVU enrollment. Uh, you should have gotten an email or an announcement from me yesterday saying that UVU, just because 2020 sucks, they are extending the deadline for admissions to the 11th. So if you have not, if you've been kind of like, oh, I totally forgot the 7th went by, I haven't gotten admitted to UVU yet, they're going to let you do that till the 11th without any additional fees. So, and you have to get um, admitted first and then you can enroll in the course. So today... And don't panic, I will come back to this, but I want to show you what the UVU enrollment looks like for today. And it takes just a minute for this to load. It's working, it's thinking. So I will, um, as we go through this, I will read the names of people who are currently enrolled in both courses. Maybe. Here we go. Do you need to pay first to get fully enrolled? I think I got yeah, you will have to pay. Time to pay. That's what yep. I need to do. Yep. Yeah, so today, these are the people I have. I'm going to read your names. Um, for those of you who are wanting to still enroll, you're going to need these CRN numbers. They are on the disclosure document, but in case you want to write these down really quick so you have a quick reference. 29283 is the CRN or the code for the 1610 class. And 29285, when we get down to here, is the code for the lab class. Okay? So starting at the top here, you should hear your name twice. That means you successfully registered both in the class and in the lab, which will get you the total number of credits. So we've got Eli Atkinson, Meg Atkinson, Elias Bays, Carrie Barney, Summer Barney, Mitchell Bezant, Emily Blair, Paige Bolt, Rachel Green, Kennedy Bunker, Cassia Carlson, Annalisa Clough, Haley DeGriff, Cooper, Dib, Kylie, Dunn, Adam Eck, Emmett Evans, Maya Ewer, Lilia Fisher, Noah Gent, Kira Goldberg, Jared Golden, Blake Granley, Nathan Grubel, Emmeline Harding, Jackson Hare, Jaden Harris, Alexander Harvey, Allie Hawkins, Benson Jacobsmeyer, Callan Jakeman, Cynthia Jensen, Stephen Kramer, Jackson Lorenzen, Carter Nielsen, Braden Packard, Ella Packard, Makai Priday, Eva Segura, Camille Smith, Lily Snowden, Talia Thomas, Rebecca Thorley, Wesley Vigg, and then we start over. So Eli, Meg, Elias, Summer, Mitchell, Emily, Paige, Rachel, Kennedy, Kessia, Emilisa, Haley, Cooper, Kylie, Emma, Maya, Lilia, Noah, Kira, Jared, Blake, Emmeline, Jackson, Jaden, Alexander, Hallie, Benson, Cynthia, Stephen, Jackson, Carter, Braden, Ella, Kai, Eva, Camille, Lily, Talia, Rebecca, Wesley. Okay? So if you heard your name twice, you're good. Check. Mark, you can stop worrying about concurrent enrollment. You're in. Yeah. Okay, I attempted to register for both classes. I registered for the first one, and then when I tried to register for the second one, it's like, eh, you can't do that. There's a time conflict. So. Yeah, you told me about that. So yeah. here's the thing. I have I have zero ability to do anything with UVU registration. Okay. I am just a messenger. Okay. So the best thing you can do is call their concurrent enrollment office and say, I need help. Got it. And they will help you. Yeah. As much as I would love to solve that for you, I just absolutely cannot. Okay, any questions on that up to this point? All right, I would like to today pick one of our get to know you. So we're just gonna go to our little B7 folder here and pick the next person um, and hope that they're here and that their presentation's done. So how about Callan? Did we already do you? Hey, hey. Did we already get to know you, Callan? Everyone's seen. Everyone's seen. 
Okay. Everyone is seeing. Callie, I'm clicking. You're talking. Okay. Let's see. Loading. 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 Uh, it just shows a picture. It doesn't show my name, but I'm Callie. That is my family. I'm the oldest of seven kids. My dad uh, has a bro broken rib. My mom is is legally and actually blind. So fun facts. Is that um, like from birth or disease or? The biologist uh, in me always asks inappropriate questions, so just no, get used to it. No, it's 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 fine. Uh, she had eye troubles ever since she was a kid, but she went fully blind her junior year of college. Fun uh, facts. Fun facts. It's upside down because they I messed it up. I am a nerd and play D and D. So, yes. Birthday September sixteenth, twenty twenty. That's next week. Yeah. Woo! Yes. Woo! How old will you be? Huh? Seventeen. Seventeen. Old. Useless age. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna have to ask you guys for a cane and a gray wig for my birthday. <laughs> Don't you think 17 is such a disappointment? Like 16, you get a drive, yeah. date, all those things. 18, you're now like legal. 17 is like, you're like almost stuck out of the in house, between. But you're still yeah. stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. My favorite line: "Cheese is just a loaf of milk." It's my favorite because I used to inquire. Nice. Co favorite color: blue. Has nothing to do with my emotional state. My favorite restaurant is Red Lobster because it's so good. So good. I love seafood. Book. Yeah, pretty much anything by Brandon Sanderson because he is just an artist. Amazing. The food is pizza. To bring pizza, vegetables, and meat, I do not eat just vegetable pizza. I am not one of those vegans. Uh, activity, you can't tell I like talking. And also randomly wearing blue wigs to class. I have done that. Okay. Um, my favorite morning drink, I don't have one, so I just put breakfast. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh, what makes me happy? Making people laugh. And, yeah, accidentally putting this entire slideshow. <laughs> making this the template. Yeah, making yeah. this the template. Um, yeah, I also want to rule the world with this school, and I want to get all A's. Nice. Your goals for this year. All right. I feel like if you're having a bad day, Callan might be your uh, cheerer upper. Oh, heck yeah. All right. We'll do. Thank you. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so here is what you're going to do for today. You're going to go to the canvas. I'm having a contest with myself to see how many windows I can have open at the same time. I'm winning. Um, uh, a couple of things. I sent an announcement last night, but I have added a live class and class recordings. So I'm doing a little recording right now, and I will upload that um, to this class recording area. And then, um, if you are ever absent, all you got to do is come here and click on this little live class, and it's going to take you to this live stream that's happening. And that way, hopefully, you can participate rather than just get further behind. And pause for three seconds to my computer. Yeah. Yeah. We have our birthday. Turned up a stir. It's an emergency. This computer's 400 years old. It takes years to boot back up. documents that all say Pillbug. So Pillbug Lab is the one you were looking at last time. Um, the end part of that, the claim evidence reasoning, you're going to be doing as your homework tonight. We are going to be using this for to guide our discussion today. And you're going to be adding some data to the Pillbug spreadsheet. So I'm going to pull up the Pillbug spreadsheet first so that you can see where you're at. Uh, please notice that there's a B6 class data and then B7. 
that's what you guys want to be on and adding your information. I've given you an example of what it would look like. Um, your groups, just so that you can kind of understand my numbering. This is 1A, and then there's a 1 or 2 up there, because in some cases, we had more than one group working on this side. So it looks like you two work together, right? So these guys are 1A1, there is no 1A2. But on some of your tables, you may have more than one group. Yes? Will you check the permissions for letting people yeah, so I don't know why it's displaying that way. We kind of got around it last period by just going to your, you can do one of two things. You can go to your Google Drive and just search for it or see the little spreadsheet link right there. Click on that and it opens it in a new window and then you should have access to it. Why it's displaying like this and not giving you access, all the accesses are open. Can you so, have permissions for the online class, like getting in? Right now. Oh, right now? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I don't think they have visual. Oh, they yeah, have you, but not the flexo. Yes, Wait. let me share my screen in Google. Google me. That will help. two problems, one they couldn't see, and uh, again, this for some reason you can't just type in it and it's not giving me the option to open in another window. So click the spreadsheet link or just go to Drive and look up Pillbug Spreadsheet. And then you should be able to um, access it and be able to use it. Just make sure that you're putting your data in the B7 tab at the bottom. So B6 was first and then B7. Um, what you're going to enter First is the number of pill bugs that were in the chambers at the 10 minute point. And in most cases we ran two experiments so, and the second one uh, had given the pill bugs more time to acclimate and probably is the more reliable of your data. So I would use the 10 minute point at the, on the second run that you did if you had one. So you will put your total just number like at 10 minutes we had three or, and we had seven. This is dry, this is wet. And then you're also gonna total the average. So you're going to total up your whole column out of 10 minutes and figure out on average where were they at any given time, okay? And put those numbers in there. As soon as you guys have that in, then I will go through and get averages for the class and the totals, like how many pill bugs out of all of our pill bugs did we have in wet and dry at the 10 minute mark so that we use, can use that information too. So if you go back then to, that's going to be kind of your first job is to do that. If you will open up this pill bug lab day two, this is going to take us through some statistical analysis discussion. So to start with, you're going to work through your individual data. You're gonna fill in the spreadsheet like we just talked about. And then you're gonna choose one data point, one type of data, and you're gonna decide as a group how you can represent this data graphically in your notebook. And you're putting all this in your notebook. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to talk about this data. Was this data helpful in answering the question, do pill bugs prefer wet environments over dry? And if it is, great, tell me why it's good data. And if it's not, then we want to talk about the limitations. What are the limitations of this data in helping to answer that question? What gaps does it leave us with? Okay. And then part B, or part two, you're going to compare and contrast your data to the class data. So in part two, you're going to repeat steps one through four, but this time for one of the, the class data points. Okay. And then in part three, you're going to compare and contrast how um, would you answer the question, do pill bugs prefer wet environments over dry using only your group data? And then how would you answer that question if you were using the class data as well, okay? And there's a couple things right there. What I would love to do is get to the point where we can talk about part four 
with about 20, 15 to 20 minutes left in class. So I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes for parts one through three, and then we'll monitor and adjust how much more time we need from there, okay? Do you have any questions? Where do we answer the questions? Like, what are the limitations? Do you just drop that down in my notebook? Yes, everything's going in your notebook. And the, um, if you are confused and you come to me and you say, well, I'm not sure what data I'm supposed to use, I'm gonna say, what data do you want to use? So this is very like individually driven. I want you to randomly pick, well, let's go with this data and then look at it. Does it help you answer that question? Or is it not? Is it lacking some sufficiency for being able to answer that question? How is it helping and how is it not helping? Okay, and then you can choose a different data point for the class and look at that as well. Okay, um, follow if you just kind of follow those steps in that in that packet, you'll you'll get there. Okay, I'm here to answer any questions you have, but go ahead and get to work. And I will find my phone and see if I my way out. Yeah, so you guys are 5A, and that was just the one group on this side, so you guys are 5A.